Now, the only way to definitively diagnose CTE is post-mortem, where researchers can look at a brain at autopsy. What doctors would like to have is a way to diagnose or even tell who's at risk while they're alive. That may now be a step closer. After nine years in the NFL, Tom McHale battled depression and abused painkillers. He died of a drug overdose at 45. In all the years of Tom struggling, it never occurred to us in a million years that it had anything to do with any injuries he had sustained playing football. Lisa McHale donated her husband's brain to Boston University School of Medicine scientists who found he had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. In fact, a recent BU study found that nearly all of the NFL players whose brains had been donated showed signs of CTE. But what doctors want is a way to diagnose CTE or the risk for the disease, not from behavior or from an autopsy, but in a living person before the disease becomes advanced and disabling. The biomarkers can be imaging biomarkers by uh, performing a, a scan of the brain. And then there are uh, biochemical biomarkers. The Boston University researchers have taken an important first step in that direction. In a study in the journal PLOS1, they found a protein biomarker that was significantly elevated in the brains of CTE victims. Brain experts say this is very preliminary, but see a future where CTE biomarkers could be used to identify who's at risk for the disease. Perhaps some people with certain uh, profiles uh, uh, in terms of their biochemistry would be encouraged to discontinue their participation in contact sports like football. And the real holy grail of this research, though, would be... Developing some kind of treatment that could be given to those that do play the sport that would arrest the development of this condition. Now, Dr. Barr, who is collaborating with the Boston researchers on CTE research, emphasizes that this is still very preliminary, and we're a long way off from figuring out who's at most risk for CTE, and unfortunately, even further off from finding a treatment for this degenerative brain damage. But this is an important first step, so we'll sure see what happens. Is. Sure is. Thank you.